let's illustrate a uh, uh, some of the properties of partial derivatives with the following problem uh, let's W is uh, x y uh, x is y z so part a write uh, W uh, uh, purely in terms of x and z and then purely in terms of y and z okay that's straightforward we could just eliminate uh, the unknowns uh, one after the other uh, what we don't need so for part a let me do part a here actually um, and uh, so x and z so we know that y is equal to uh, x over z okay so we'll plug it into w so w will be uh, x times x over z so this is x squared over z okay and uh, then it says purely in terms of y and z uh, so uh, y and z so we have to eliminate x uh, so then uh, W uh, is um, X uh, Y and Z so Y and X is Y Z so Y times Y Z so this is Y squared Z okay uh, now it says uh, for part B to compute the partial derivatives let me start here with this so part B compute the partial derivative DW over DX and uh, uh, this means we are holding the y fixed okay uh, so we will go to that equation uh, that has that and uh, you could see if you just differentiate uh, uh, w with respect to x from the original equation w equal x y if you hold y fixed then the answer will just be y because the derivative of x is one and then uh, if i do uh, dw over uh, dx but now we are holding z fixed right so then I could go to the equation that has w in terms of x and z and uh, if I do that uh, z is a number so it's held fixed and the derivative of x squared is 2x okay um, Okay, so now um, uh, we did this and show that they are not equal. Clearly, they are not equal because uh, here uh, uh, x over z uh, is actually 2y. x over z is y, so this becomes 2y, and the first one was y. So these partial derivatives are not the same. The holding y fixed versus holding z fixed. Uh, okay. Um, and then uh, we need to figure out... Uh, uh, the remaining partial derivatives right so let's do that so let's do dw over dy okay and now we're gonna hold x fixed uh, right uh, for w so uh, so uh, uh, then we could go to the equation that has uh, x and y in it the original one if we hold x fixed uh, the derivative of y is 1 so we just get x okay let's do dw over dy and now we're gonna hold z fixed okay so uh, then uh, if we do that z is a number so I, I'm gonna go off this one so this is 2yz uh, and yz is just x so this is 2x so you could see that those partials are not the same uh, when you hold x fixed versus holding z fixed although it's the same it's it's the same differentiation with respect to y however the answers are not the same okay uh, we'll do dw over dz and now we're gonna hold x fixed and uh, so uh, if we do that uh, we can go off the equation that has z and x which is x squared over z so here uh, we're gonna hold x fixed so this is a number and the derivative of 1 over z is minus 1 over z squared 
using quotient rule or power rule. So this becomes minus x squared over z squared. And now I will take the same partial, but I will hold y fixed. So now I'll go off the equation that has uh, z and y, y squared z, right? So, so holding y fixed, so this would be y squared times 1, which is y squared. And uh, what is y with respect to x and z? From the given equation, y is x over z, so this becomes x squared over z squared. Notice there's a minus sign here that's not here. So these two partials, again, are not the same. Okay, anything else in this problem? No, that was it. Uh, this completes this partial derivatives problem to illustrate that it does matter uh, which variable you are holding fixed when you are taking partial derivatives to a function uh, that contains more than one variable.